Hello everyone. It's Tuesday, so that means we're streaming. Wait, hold on. Is this coming on? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, type Apple in chat. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Because for some reason, Streamlabs, like, the audio bar is grayed out. I'm like, wait a minute, is it muted? And I'm checking my mic really quickly, and it doesn't say I'm muted, but I'm not seeing the feedback from Streamlabs like normal. So if for any reason it goes super silent all of a sudden, just let me know. And hey, everybody, thank you so much for helping. Tori Sue, Enrico, Kyle, Jax, Ma... Thanks for jumping in and joining in. We're starting a little early today. You know, I'd be lying if I said I actually wasn't looking forward to this. This game is growing on me. Hopefully we can have a less interrupted stream than last time. With the internet dropping in and out. It was storming the other night, though, so maybe that was it. Alright, so... In between last time and this time, I decided to go ahead and dye my armor white because I was just tired of seeing the, the green. I thought we were ready to go on here, but it looks like our next objective is way down here to talk to the broken blacksmith. Hope everybody's week is going so far so good. I'm making progress on The World Ends With You. I have some thoughts on, on the gameplay. This may shock some people. Wait, hold on. Okay, for some reason I thought I saw something. But I'm doing the final mix version of it. Anytime I switch controls in a game, I always have to do a quick button check. I always forget. this what am I doing here interesting hmm it's very disorienting when you jump from like say playing on the PC to playing a portable to playing like a controller and you jump very quickly it's always funny to me when people are like, oh, I can just never get used to another type of controller, or XYZ controller is better than XY whatever controller. I'm like, man, I just have to keep my mouth shut because I know I'm at a very different predicament. But to me, it's like, man, I switch controllers two or three times a day depending on the projects I'm working on. Oh, we got a bear? We do have a bear. In between this stream and last stream, I did do the uh, the Tengu quest to get the longbow, the demonic longbow. That was kind of a cool fight setup, I gotta say. But it's so disorienting when you have to 
just change control schemes and just you get into that sort of muscular memorization, you know, muscle memory, and you don't realize how much it affects you until you have to switch things up. Now we're helping you now. Taka's counting on us. I love the kid, but this is too dangerous. It will never work. We'll make it work. This the samurai? You can call me Lord Sucker. <gasps> Forgive me, my lord. I am Kenji, upstanding merchant. But when you're switching constantly, at the same time, you kind of program your brain a little bit to be flexible. So you can kind of pick up things differently. That town's a fortress. You don't feel like, oh, I can't master this control, but the game's fighting against me because I'm too used to playing this other type of controller. Nah. It'll never work. Get your sake ready. We'll discuss the plan on the move. <laughs> Let's have a drink first. Talk this through. Now, Kenji. I like this guy already. He smiles. His face may not move too much like everyone else's, but he smiles. I like his attitude. When we get close to the town, you can hide in the cart with the sake. The Mongols won't search it? Not anymore. It's the same sake delivery I always sell them. They love my dart. Dart! I'm sorry, I didn't mean to throw. You've been doing business ah. with the enemy. See, like I said, I. <laughs> Button check. Button check. Is my horse mad at me? My horse is mad at me. I'm sorry I threw a coup and I at you. R1 was bringing up the interaction in the other game I was playing. How bad is the occupation in Azlomo Bay? I guess we're walking. people fought back. The ones left alive are prisoners or slaves. But you never saw Taka? No. But someone I'm surprised my horse didn't kick me. The past few days. Maybe it's your brother. If this was Red Dead, your horse would have gone back and other. slapped you Since I was too for trying to attack to it. I was just starting to brew sake. Sold you know my first batch. <laughs> Tasted like piss, but it was cheap. And for a while, I tried to get Taka's help selling it. Turned out he was too soft. People told him sob stories, and he'd give them sake, free of charge. Mongols. Damn. All right, let's you see if I can remember combat. The there aren't many. I can handle them. No, Jin. Taka is so close. Please. All right. Oh. Get ready. They might search the car. You said they don't do that. The town gates. I've never seen them this far out here. Brother's a skilled blacksmith. They won't treat him like that. I don't know that. We're getting close to quiet. This is a super bright moon. Like I don't remember the moon ever being this bright. Even with like a fog. Good lord, that's a bright moon. I think it's like a spotlight. So the Mongols are killing everybody except people who can brew them uh, good sake and apparently blacksmiths. I mean, at least they have their priorities, right? Somebody must have pissed off the Mongols. They burned out. This is where we part ways. Keep the Mongols drunk and distracted. A 
I'll do my best. Stay safe, Kenji. And you, Lord Sakai. Taka's waiting for us. Let's go. Once we're done, I'll meet you at the crossroads behind town. We need a vantage point to scout ahead. This way. Remember, no alarms. We do this quietly. All the prisoners suffer. Got it. Hey, Leonard. How's it going tonight? He's in charge. The slaver. Bastard. He's inspecting the prisoners like they're horses. He might lead us to Taka. Follow him. Picky game. That's probably fine. He wouldn't try to run. Let's go. What if we take the rooftops? I think that'd be better. I'm surprised they have no rooftop archers in this town that they occupied. How trusting. Would they really drag out prisoners, line them up, and then shoot them? Would they really have that much ceremony? Ooh, we got a very well-dressed one. That guy's normally a captain at other bases. Oh, come on, Jin. Jesus Christ. I'm pressing jump, and he doesn't jump. jump out of this. Hey Gideon, how's it going tonight? Did I finish 13 Sentinels? Yes I did. What I think about the ending, it wasn't exactly what I expected, so I'm okay with that. I liked it. There were there were a couple of things that I I saw coming, but there was a lot of things I didn't. And so I'm I'm actually really glad to be pleasantly surprised. That bastard! He'll kill Taka. I am shocked nobody sees us. Fortunately, literally every I'll single Mongol has their back turned to us. It's almost like there's a predetermined uh, passageway through this. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm gonna get spotted. I guess we weren't completely unwatched. Okay, take two, this time with feeling. Alright, put us on this side. I notice that I don't use my little radar that much. I guess because the visibility is always so poor. There's not really a point.
thought for a second that was a guy. I like this armor. Can I take this armor? Oh, this guy spotted me. So if I open this, will it cause a ruckus? Let's find out. They killed the last people who tried to escape. They won't catch me. I'm kind of curious how they won't catch him. Actually, there was another time where I had to release prisoners, and the prisoners ran right past guards. Shit. Shit. Do you feel the input lag while changing combat poses? Not really. Because I feel it. He kind of changes his sword. Like, just... See, because he kind of changes his sword pretty quickly. Like, the moment I, I do it. Changing stances really takes literally no time. That's one thing I like is... is responses are pretty... Uh, pretty well done. But yeah, that's interesting feedback. I am playing this on a pro... But I'm surprised there would be that much of a performance difference between this and the P base PS4. Now I know a lot of things chug on the base PS4. And I have to wonder. But at the same time. They killed the last people who tried to escape. They won't catch me. Alright, so let's see. We well, can get this archer. We could go behind him, but where's the fun in that? What do you want? Don't scream. The slaver. Can't let him get away. I'm not even moving, the game's just moving me. <laughs> Please. Luna, Taka. What did they do to you? You're safe now. We need to move. Ah, oh, there's a ghost behind you. You can't. They'll catch us, just like the others. They won't. This Their AI is too poor. He'll protect us. I need you to trust me, Toka. I need your help. I'll try, my lord. Let me clear the camp. There's a gate nearby. Then that's where we break out. You're not even trying to stealth. You're just duck walking. Found the slaver. They'll kill us. We need to hide. No, keep moving. We can climb those crates. 
escape us out of the bay. Really? I know there's Where a move that like less. Kenji's waiting for us at the crossroads. Uh, your fall damage, but come on, really? I fell, I fell from this height and I took damage. Come on. All right. Jin's got bad knees. Can't call my horse. I'm really curious to see where the store is going to go with my uncle, especially. I'll say, where'd you guys go? Still can't call our horses. I'm gonna stand off in front of an entire base. Crazy. pretty straightforward and short mission. That's one thing I noticed about the missions in this game is that they're rather short. Horses, you know? They're coming for us. Get in the tall grass and stay down. They seem relatively quick. It's Kenji. Kaka. You made it. Were you followed? No, but we can't go back to my place. It's crawling with Mongols. We should Mongols. Go. We have to put some distance between us and Azamo Bay. Mongols. Yeah, for some odd reason, we're having very, I don't know, interrupted internet. I don't know what to do. I apologize, guys. It's not your computer, although it might be your computer, but it's not in this case. For some strange reason, I'm just having a lot of frame drops. And it's not the game. It's it's literally, for some odd reason, my internet connection. With up, uploading and streaming. I'm not even uploading anything. We need to figure out where to go I don't next. know why it's being so picky. There's a place up ahead where you can see most of Izuhara. Everyone all right? I could use a drink and some sleep. I can help with one of those. Taka, you've been quiet. First time in days, I haven't felt like I was about to die. And he gets shot by an no. arrow. I am grateful. But how do you know Kenji and my sister? I owe you know my life. <laughs> we have something in common. Capital Trip, how's it going? Never played this game, neither have I. I mean, this is the first time I'm playing it. This is Ghost of Tsushima, one of the games nominated for Game of the Year last year. We're playing it on lethal mode because I started playing on normal, but then I saw it was just... The, the world's already so forgiving and very gentle, it holds your hand for a lot of it. And I was just getting so bored with it that I was like, let me try to at least give it some teeth. So I'm playing it on its lethal difficulty. And even then, I'm finding it's it's not really any harder, per se. AI is the same. Time to kill is the same. Time to die is the same. The only thing that's tighter is the the blocking or parrying windows. That's it. How are you doing? So if you're somebody who has any experience with any combat system that involves blocking or parrying, you could probably tune up to lethal and be perfectly fine. With food and rest, you'll be fine. Otherwise, if you're playing on normal, you're kind of playing the exact same way. This is... Probably one of the weakest options I've seen 
or how difficulty is adjusted because it doesn't actually change how much damage you deal or take for you or the enemies. So why they call it lethal, I don't know. Jin. Thank you. Yeah, it is only PS4, but you never know. They might just port it to PC later, like they did with Horizon Zero Dawn or Death Stranding. Or even, you know, it's hard to say. Because Death Stranding isn't, um, it maybe have been a, a console exclusive on PS4, but it's not like it was made by Sony. It was made by Kojima Productions. And I don't recall, I think Sucker Punch was recently bought by Sony. But I don't know if they if they're technically owned by Sony or their second party. Because Guerrilla Games was second party. <laughs> Give me those pelts. <clears throat> but you never know. Diversification would be in PlayStation's best interest. Have I tried watching a common writer? I have not watched any common writer. Remember, watch the back foot. Thanks for surrendering. I accept. Yeah, you thought escape was an option. That's cute. Oh, you didn't drop anything for me. Please help me. Oops, I'm sorry. You're going to be all right. The most I've ever seen a common rider would be like clips. You I haven't actually watched things. any of the series. Take this. It's all I have. Thanks. <laughs> when did you usually watch the foot strategy till you fought in tall grass? Oof, I mean you have to pick your battlefields, man. That's part of it. You have to pick your battlefields. You're right. If I if I bought this in the very tall grass, that'd be very hard to watch the back foot. Another one? Good lord, these guys are everywhere. Are you cowards? I guess you could say watch the knees. through the kunai. I thought I was dodging. Button check. Button check. But yeah, combat's fast. 
If you win, you win fast. If you lose, you lose fast. And I can't imagine that's any more different on any of the other difficulties. Because the skills and the way that we're handling things on normal has not changed at all. Roll your blades. Man, it is crowded on these roads today. Thanks for the refill. Appreciate it, chumps. That's the thing I like, though, is that you can go from heavily armored Mongols to, like, just dudes in their underwear. The world doesn't cheat by trying to rubber band with you. I appreciate that, because there are open world games that do do that, and that's annoying. Where all of a sudden, every bandit has diamond armor. It's like, what the hell? Heal. That was one of the things I never liked about Elder Scrolls. Because in Elder Scrolls, the entire world rubber bands to match you. And unless you happen to be doing a good job of keeping up with the power curve, you're going to be falling behind by literally road bandits that have better armor than you. And magical weapons. And it's like, what the hell? It's like, oh, I guess you didn't forge, you know, a thousand leather daggers. Or a piece of leather and iron daggers, so all your shit's garbage. Can I fast travel there? I was wondering about this village because I've been to this village before and this village was highlighted red but nobody's there. So when I go there, is it going to be full of enemies now? See, because I even came in here and did like the little bamboo thing. Yeah. You okay there, yellow bird? You're just leading me here. Okay. Okay. I think your dude's shouting. Fighting ahead. What do you think about the story so far? I'll let you know when we encounter some. <laughs> We've encountered... Is he facing this way or that way? He's facing this way. We've encountered some plot. We have not encountered a lot of story at all. I'm waiting for the story to happen. We're just doing stuff right now. That's why on stream I'm just focusing on just doing the story, but man... I need some arrows. Oh, sorry. I thought you Juna. were. I was about to shoot you. Is that Juna. you? Jin. There's an enemy in that building right behind us. I was about to go you kill him. You made it. What happened here? Where's Taka? Hiding with what's left of Komatsu. Mongols came a few days ago. They took prisoners, killed anyone who put up a fight. Now they're coming back to finish the job. These were just scouts. The main force won't be far behind. Then we have to go. Now. We can hold this town. What? We need Komatsu's forge. And its people. If you need to, you can leave. No. I'm tired of running. 
Take me to the others. The musical cues during that conversation were kind of funny. I do wonder, though, defective, if it's Only going to follow. Mostly farmers and blacksmiths. If it's going to follow what uh, what a lot of. You killed all these men by yourself. Good work. I've had some practice. Can you get more arrows? I'm trying to think of what the genre is. Like, what is the genre you call it? Like Knights of the Round Table and Tales of Chivalry and Bushido and Samurai and romantic west like what do you call that genre what is that genre called it, it has to have a name because it, it shares so many themes it's almost like a like greek tragedy in a way where it's all about a rise to fame and then their pride before the fall all of these carry that same sort of pride before the fall oh we have to die by our way of life and our honor so we have to be sacrificial and you know it's tragic because of that and I don't know what that's called. I'm not. I'm not a huge film buff, so I, I don't know the right words here. Is the forge working? Yes, but we can't light it. The smoke will give us away. Show the Mongols where to find us. We can use it to lure them Heroes in. Heroes Quest. Force a fight. Well, Heroes Quest. The, the idea of the Heroes Quest that that is a type of writing theme. But the Heroes Quest involves. I mean, we are kind of on a Heroes Quest right now. You're right. But we're gathering allies. We're going to take on the big bad. Um, that is the Heroes Quest. And we do have a sense of justice, but the whole thing that makes those samurai and like uh, King Arthur's tales so popular is because of the whole idea of the dogma that they live by and die by. I pray to the gods. It's both their strength and their biggest weakness. But I came for your help. Yuna said you needed something, a new tool to save Lord Shimura. Yeah, Ciro, I'm He's telling you, if you, I, I'm trying not to harp on it up. as much as Fine. I did in the first two episodes, no one but Yuna's face especially, town has a forge. You, her eyebrows just don't move. <laughs> the best. She just witnessed like all these horrors of war, or like uh, off I stream, I just did the uh, the one where I help There's Lady no the Mongols. Uh, I Mano or Akana, I can't course. remember. And, you know, she's upset they that she stayed. had to bury her family. She's so mad and she's hell-bent on revenge. And you she's, you know, crying when she sees her her, her sons hung dishonorably on the beach. And it's so you tragic know. for her. And her eyebrows don't move. You know, be ready to I'm like, what is up with the animation? Leaves. They have such an interesting attention to detail everywhere else except the faces. Why are the faces in this game so bad? But, yeah. That type of hero's quest where it's all about, you know, maintaining this this sense of honor, this these rules that everybody lives and is bonded by, but it also ends up being their downfall. I'll be honest, not my favorite writing themes at all. It, I, I don't have a love for it. One of my best friends, though, he loves that sort of stuff. He loves, like, the King Arthur stuff, and that's why I also don't even play Paladins um, in D&D, &D, because just the entire concept of, like, that sort of binding rule and creed to me just bothers me. I, I can get behind Assassin's Creed where, you know, nothing is true, everything is permitted. I'm okay with that. Or, like what Jin's realizing right now, which is, hey, um, you need to evolve the way you're thinking. You need to adapt and overcome. It's just the inflexibility and the rigidity of it. It's, that's what bothers me. I can't get behind that. I don't like tales that celebrate that either. I believe there are ways you can fight and protect the things you love and value in ways other than one written in stone concrete way. And that's just how I feel. I know there are tons of people who love that. Tons of people who love the, the samurai code and the bushido and the and the chivalry. It's like that's cool, you can keep it. I am I am not with you on that. You caught me by surprise, but you're lucky I was faster. Was that the guy that I wasn't able to see before? I guess I'm just 
super opposed to the idea of um i respect laws you know i do respect laws and order and i understand that but at the same time when there's a time when we need to be flexible in the way we approach things i don't like when somebody somebody arbitrarily says well according to this rule that i neither need their no nor respect we can't do this thing and like really i don't know about you... that yes taka needs help with the forge follow me wait my wife and her sister are by the river lead me to them quickly I guess it's Tsushima 2 credits. Follow my orders. <laughs> You're right. Dwayne Johnson would approve these uh, these eyebrows and the smoldering stares. He would approve. He's like, yeah, that, that conveys emotion. I'm like, really, bro? Come on, man. Hide. Because this is the thing I don't, I, I, I'm willing to bet here, just to pause because I have to say this. I am willing to bet, calling it right now, that when Jin arrives to his uncle, his uncle's going to berate him on quote unquote becoming the ghost of Tsushima. Seeing like, how could you abandon your samurai ways and, and go around backstabbing people like a bandit? Because just like, just like how the old man did, you know, it's like, oh, how dare you? You know, you, you're not a son to me anymore, even though technically I was a nephew. It's like, I, I'm going to... I'm gonna throw you away. He's gonna basically banish him, you know, from the from the household. We're gonna be we're gonna lose our title. We're gonna lose whatever land we have, even though we already lost our land. Um, he's probably gonna throw out Jin and reject him purely because even though Jin is winning single handedly carrying this island on his back, his uncle won't stand for it because of his stupid samurai code that literally got everybody else ninety nine point nine percent of all the samurai killed at the beach that day. And when that happens, I'm going to tell my uncle, uncle, just like all the other people who are too proud in this in this false ethic you believe in. It's great for times of peace, but in times of war, when it doesn't work, you have to change. And you're not actually mad at me, uncle, especially since if I'm, I'm probably going to kill the boss and he's probably going to like be mad at me for killing the boss in like a quote unquote underhanded way or some shit like that. You're not mad at me for... For becoming the ghost you're mad at yourself for your bushido and your way of thinking not being strong enough to solve the problem to begin with that's what you're actually mad at you're not mad at me you're mad at yourself for being too weak i got results and he's gonna be like yeah you know tradition versus progress Oops. don't look at it look at me yes my love and traditions evolve you know Stay our here. values change. We can't be so rigid to where we think the same thing over and over and over. Where are you looking, bud? Shield rush, that was pretty good. For some reason, the shield rush just catches me off guard. I do believe there are some things we should have traditions in to maintain a culture, but if that is war, then you are foolish to think that only one way of war, one way of doing battle, will ever suffice, especially against enemies that will learn and adapt, or enemies that neither know of or respect your way of doing battle. Like in the beginning, when the Mongol like you know threw and lit, lit the commander on fire, I'm like, yeah, that's a completely thing. It's like, what he's gonna do? Respond to your formal challenge? He doesn't have to do that. He doesn't even know anything about you. Who cares? You're dead. He's not. Yukio sent me. He's alive. Follow me. Taka needs your husband. Mutsu, my love. Yukio. When are still in the game of story? Yeah, I know. We're still in like act one. Fought like an animal or a demon. I'm already a demon, cause. Only when I'm facing Mongols. I'm already an Oni. Go to the forge. Stay close. But yeah. I'm I'm with Jin, and I'm. 
I don't know if they're gonna do that scene, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do that scene. And I wonder how Jin will respond. If Jin's gonna be like ashamed of how, what he's done to to win back the island, you know, they had to stain his hands in such a way that it would not be approved of by his family. Or is he actually going to defend himself? You see, that's the kind of character development I'm interested in. That's what's keeping me going on this adventure. I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, we gotta lead him back. Everyone's like, does this samurai know where he's going? Just don't question him. I'm known for fighting, not navigating. Oh, hey, what's up? And yoink. Here, you. For Larry's sake. Oh, you're just gonna ignore me? That was weird. I swear, the AI in this game... Game of the year, people say. What can you play the Saga games on? Well, very soon you'll actually get the Saga collection, which is the first three ones of Final Fantasy. Uh, what was it called? Oh no you don't. Shit, I was too distracted. I just didn't want to lose the two people I was with. I was like, no, 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 no. You do not touch my wards. Oh, Romancing Saga? Hmm. I mean, I have the discs. For some reason, because I was looking at my PS1 games, for some reason, I don't know why, I have two discs of Saga Frontier 2, and I don't know why. I don't know when I bought one. It clearly bought the other one. Maybe it was part of a bundle. Thank you, my lord. The Mongols are here. Where's Yuna? She went to get a family from the house across the river. You should give me a free Let's sword upgrade. Don't light the fortune until we come back. But yeah, when this little the little um, saga collection comes out for the first three games, I'll pick that up. I'll support it. What it's they're probably doing is like what they're doing with their other games that Square is doing is they're kind of slowly releasing their old IPs. I think just to kind of test the waters and gauge interest. Because I was talking about this the other month where it's like, isn't it weird how a couple months after or like maybe half a year after they do it, they announce a sequel or a follow-up or a remake? I think they're just testing the waters and they're realizing they can't just float the entire company on just Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, and Dragon Quest, even though Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, and Dragon Quest are the majority Stand of and fight. Uh, everything that they have. I think diversifying, they're realizing that it's a smart thing to do. So many black powders. I haven't been, I have not used black powder grenades once. I should try them out. I love kunai. Kunai are just simple and they get work done. 
It's just an instant stun breaker and guard block. Like, it's just too good. It's quick, it does one thing, and it does it against literally everybody. Watch, we're gonna start encountering people who could block Kunai. If that happens, then you're right, then we'll go to explosives. Ready to light the forge. So the problem I have with most saga games, though, because you probably guess I'm kind of familiar with them, is that most saga games don't have a canon path. They tell multiple short stories, but they don't necessarily, most of them, don't tell an overarching one. And they don't exactly declare any one ending for any of the characters canon. They kind of have it to where you kind of choose your hero, go on that adventure, and that's basically the, the thick and the thin of it. Really? Get over here, you. I keep forgetting I can deflect arrows, so the times when I get shot for no reason are just stupid me. I know you didn't need to help Yuna, but I figured I'd help anyway. You... you saved us. This fight's not over. Can you make it to the forge? Yes. I think so. Because the most recent iteration of Everyone's Saga was me. Octopath Traveler. And that went over very well for a lot of people. It's extremely long, so I long I haven't even finished it. I only played a few a of the characters. Story. And I was like, Jesus Christ, this, this game's He's long. <laughs> and I just, I just, it's still on pause. I haven't quit the game. It's just been on a very long hiatus. Um, I also don't love the idea of, um, of doing eight mini stories. Now, if I can get them under an hour, maybe I will. I would I just don't like the idea of splitting up videos. That's the reason why I do long form videos instead of doing the stupid nonsense that YouTube wants you to do that a lot of other creators do, which is create part one and make it ten to fifteen minutes, then create part two and make it ten to fifteen minutes. Just the milk. Just the milk things. Who would I be standing off? I could kill those dudes, but I'm being respectful to the people that I have. Hey, Sam. Hey, Dama. Thanks for joining chat. Hope you're having a good night. Probably knows we start a little early today. I want to see if we can finish up this last blacksmith tale and then move on to sieging um, the Khan's fort. Like the forge, Tucker. What about the Mongols? Have you had the chance to play the Legends mod? I place. have not. But I looked into Legends. Apparently all it is is just horde mode. First, I'm like, if it's just horde mode, I can't say that's stand. super thrilling to me. I will still give it a try, but that doesn't excite me. are in the forge. We have to stop them. They're inside the burger town. Oh, I did not see that dog. 
That dog caught me off guard. That thing was literally like... See how I jumped over that dog there? That's kind of cool. Really, Yuna? Come on, man. Ooh, good combo. Shit, got me again. That guy was good. I tried to shield break him. Generous checkpoints. Nice, the old one two punch. Like I said, this game has such generous checkpoints. You can play on any difficulty and it'd be the same exact experience. I don't even know why they bothered. They should have just had just the game and not even bother with the difficulty mode. Playing the Sky of Five? Nice. That's one of the best ones in the series. That series just keeps getting better and better. It was nothing. You are more than a samurai. He's ascended. He's a ghost. Say, say he's the ghost of Tsushima. Back from the grave I want somebody to say to that. Slaughter the Mongols. Where do we hide now? You don't. We fight. Fire up your forge. And get back to making strong Komatsu weapons. That's how we fight back. I will save Lord Shimura. Vengeful spirit? I think they liked it. I read that samurai follow a path of honor. What is one of the many differences between us? Oh boy, are they gonna have a conversation now? Then why have my men found their brother stabbed in the back? Lord Sakai would never resort to such tactics. Oh, here we go. I I knew this was gonna happen. Out who we truly are. It has made you a dog, unleashed by your cousin Kublai. 
to rape and pillage at his command. Have you tried Kurosawa mode? I have not. Strays from the warrior's path. You will become what you. I know that's the black and white mode, but I kind of don't have an interest in that. This game tries to sell you on its colors and vibrancy, and I don't see the advantage of a black and white filter. It's kind of like with Red Dead, where they had like the old time sepia tone filter. I'm like, I would never play on that. Help your nephew regain his honor before his cowardice goes I knew they're gonna play this up, where it's like, oh. You know, you Jin, he's such a coward. He's he's forsaken the way of the samurai. He's giving you all a bad name. He's, got, he's turning the uncle against you. I should see if Yuna has any news. Let me guess. Our uncle's gonna be so mad at us and so twisted by the con that we're gonna have to fight him. I really hope it doesn't end up being stupid like that because then the uncle's a complete hypocrite. If he's truly a man of tolerance and patience and discipline, he wouldn't fly off a handle just because Jin, you know, literally rose from the from the, the depths of the sea as a vengeful spirit who died on that beach. to work on your blade, my lord. Apologies. I am very you poor don't on resources. Have we need to do the work. Since I literally saved all your lives, can you just give me a free upgrade? I would take that. Saddle. Oh, I didn't realize that collecting all these banners actually gave us anything. I literally have not looked at my saddles, so I wonder if there's going to be a saddle that really makes it interesting. took the long way around on purpose. Nah. You have my thanks. I don't want to upgrade those armors. Lord Sakai. My name is Genho. I'm working to raise the spirits of our people. We have a shared cause. I want to remind everyone of our protectors who fell at Komoda. Words are not enough. The samurai clan know, words carry weight. are powerful symbols of those who gave their lives for us. But dry, a picture's worth and a thousand words. never yield to the Mongols. More banners, my lord? I was just reading a scroll on the history of clan Adachi. It is said their first lords were known as the Great Builders. Do you know why? They constructed the Golden Temple of Ariake and the lighthouses you see across the island. Lord Adachi even helped my uncle improve the fortifications of Clan Shimura's ancestral castle. He also had a talent for destroying structures, which helped end the Yarikawa Rebellion. I had no idea. Thank you for the lesson, my lord. Your help and inspiration are invaluable. You brought clan banners? You're one of the only living sources of knowledge about our samurai clans. Not exactly a hard race you right share now. share more of what you know. Hmm. I remember a few years ago, I found myself surrounded by banners. I thought you said you weren't inspired by words. I to fight them alone. And suddenly my foes turned and fled into the woods. I looked back at the hillside behind me and saw a line of clan Nago's finest archers silhouetted against the sky. The bandits had heard those warriors trained with their bows since they were old enough to walk. That reputation alone was enough to end the battle then and there. And I owed Clan Nago many jars of sake that night. A tale worth retelling, my lord. I'll make sure others hear it. 
Your efforts are greatly appreciated. Take care. I wonder if the, did the saddles actually do anything though? I hope you find more clan banners. I'll be here when you do. Hmm. No, they really are just cosmetic, aren't they? Well, we're going to ride with the uh, with this at least, because when I saw this, I'm like, ooh, I might change to that. Because my colors are blue and gold. So. This one's like literally slightly brighter. But yeah, the blue and gold. We got to we gotta ride with the blue and gold. I hope we can find a die for my armor like that. Gotta rock the blue and gold. All right. Ooh, grapple hook. Oh, that explains why. There have been a couple of shrines like this one here and like this one here where like you can't, there's no way to jump in. Like it says, you do not have the necessary tool. Cool. I'm excited to see what it is. Hopefully it's actually a cool thing. I wonder though if it's gonna be I I I fear it's gonna be one of those where you can't actually do anything with it in combat or outside of combat. You can only use it for very specific areas. This is an interesting find. Ooh, new armor dice? For me perhaps? Nope. I was hoping to find more iron here. You know, in this forging town of blacksmiths. Spreading more of your stories? Just telling them what they want to hear. Some of them are calling you the ghost. After you put the idea in their heads. These people stay because they believe in you. They should believe in a samurai. To them, you're both. Yeah. When Lord Shimura is free, they won't need to put their faith in folk tales. So you say. Maybe. But we're putting our faith in folk tales constantly. Taka's sweating over the job you gave him. He doesn't want to let you down. Let's see how it's coming along. There's powers in word. Like people people give look at that little jog she's doing. <laughs> There's power in the words that people give. And that's why words are so strong. If uncle. people choose to give them Any power. Luck? And that's why so, stories and storytelling and is one of those common forms of communication. They're dealing with their own struggles. That's why I like time, uh, they've agreed to help. To me, it's like when you say you're a storyteller, like that's not anything. Woman. You sure that's enough? That's why I hired the It's such a strong thing to say that you're a storyteller. Because with a storyteller, you can do so many things. Well, you can construct a narrative and like push you into your personal you agenda need. or politics on other people. You can inspire hope. You can inspire sedition. You can inspire all sorts of emotions to come out of people and people are like oh, i don't care about stories i hate stories do you because say you came home from work and somebody asked you so how was your day you know how you respond you respond with a story well here's what happened in my day or you come from a bad day man you won't believe what i heard blah 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 or and this kind of day is what happened to me or yeah it's not too much everybody's constantly telling stories they don't even realize it and that's why i love the concept of effective storytelling because it's one of the most natural ways that we share our experiences and our feelings with Be others. Patience, my lord. And the way that we tell it, because you can tell like how was your day story in like a way that conveys sadness or frustration or impatience or good fortune or happiness, any sort of things. It's the way you choose to call that simple question with a rope story. Attached to the end. That's what I love about you that. You can use it to climb walls. They Sweet almost said the, the ghost of Tsushima, but they didn't say the I ghost. It myself. So I like that. I call it a Kaginawa. It's perfect. A 
I mean you're dead. No. I call it the Kaginawa. It's a gift. It's just it's just a grappling hook. I yeah, have my Kaginawa. sister. My home. My life. That's enough. I like that. I like the Thank way he cuts you. his Go. goatee and beard. Jin. That blacksmith looks cool. You so? Jin! Jin Sakai! Anyone see a samurai? I know you're here! I've been looking all over for you. I wonder if I walk away if he says anything. Nope, he doesn't respond. The Mongols have captured my best fighters. I was counting on their help. It's possible. All your fighters are scrubs. Don't do something. Man, Why not? Not, not right now, man. And your uncle stays locked in captivity. Where are they? Caged near Fort Yatade. All right, but they are tall walls. If only we had some it. sort of hook at the end of a rope or something. You said they're in cages near Fort Yatate. Where exactly? The cages are actually inside the fort. At the top of a cliff. Of course. How are we going to free your people? How, how did we know I still that? Have a few men who won't capture. How do we know this is like Waiting the moment you get a new tool, the next the mission immediately uses assault. that tool? Lead the way. I'm not going to slight the game on that though. A lot of games do that. Where the very moment you get something new, all of a sudden the missions afterwards magically require it. How were your men captured? Remember that map you gave me? Oh, the one showing Mongol supply lines. Did you find food? Yes. Very well guarded. Too many guards for your best men? I was gonna make the same joke. All over us. I barely got like, away myself. How good were your best men? Sure the men are alive? If they got bested by a bunch of guards guarding food. I'm surprised the Mongols allowed that. So am I. Are you good singers? Might be more pleasant than mercenary work. I didn't choose this life. I didn't choose this life, this life chose me. Oh, at Lord Nagal's tournament. We never talked about it. Before we spawned, I invited commanders from every clan to watch. You came at me like I was your mortal enemy. Almost broke my arm. If I'd gone easy on you, everyone would have known. <laughs> you were trying to kill me. I couldn't let myself be defeated by... By a lonely ronin? That's not what I meant. You were born, Lord Sakai. That tournament was my one chance to gain attention. Sorry you weren't good enough to beat me. Become a samurai. Are you happy now? You Sorry you had such a weak bitch ass you arm no and you couldn't stand work. one strike from my no. overbearing I machismo strength. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry you that you still are butthurt over an event that happened Maybe years ago. Are you happy, Ryuzo? Are you happy? I apologize. I apologize three times. What is the most reskinned game you ever played? Someone named Kumar what do you mean by that? The ghost. Is Lord Sakai not good enough? What's wrong? Afraid I'll get more famous than you? <laughs> <laughs> he sweats nervously. What is that shape in the distance? It looks like a giant Coward. tree. <laughs> Running off. After all I did to keep them alive. We still have enough to save your men. I've worked with less. I've worked with none. Men to Mongols. Sickness. Hunger. But never this. They're weak. It's not your fault. Anyone else want to leave? They all just leave. <laughs> I, di I didn't think it'd actually go that bad. It'll be dark soon. We'll figure out how to free See, you notice who left? 
all those little non-believers and posers who wore headbands instead of straw hats. They weren't real straw hats. You didn't lose anything. These men right here, they're real straw hats. Not those lame headband wearers. That's where the bastards are holding my men. What's your rescue plan? My plan? You're the one who got us onto that Mongol ship. Hmm. Uh, there's only one road into the fort, and it'll be heavily guarded. I need to get inside without being seen. The Mongols won't be watching the cliffs at the back of the fort. I'll climb up, go over the wall. How? Are you half monkey? <laughs> I have something to help me. I'll free your men. Once they're with me, I'll set off one of the alarms. That's your signal to ride in and crush the Mongols between us. I played a lot of Genshin See, Impact, so I, I know how to climb surfaces plan. that have no footholds. I'll be good. I'll find a way up the cliff on this side. Stay hidden until you see my signal. Good luck. Don't fall. the way. Can't jump that gap. But Taka says his hook will support my weight. Just as it sounds, a reskin of a game like Minecraft Dungeons, which is just an easier Diablo with a family fighting reskin on it. Eh, that's not what I that's not what comes to mind, I'll be admit, when I hear the word reskin. It's not what I come to mind. Because a reskin would be like, to me, the way that you're describing it is like games that are essentially clones of each other. But I don't I mean, even though Minecraft Dungeons is definitely basically a Diablo game, I don't know. I just never heard anybody term it as a reskin. I think of reskin and I think of like asset flip. But I, I see what you're saying. I should be able to swing myself across. I appreciate that this is not actually skill-based parkour or climbing. It's just basically you press a gut, a, you know, like a, one button and it does everything for you. I do appreciate that actually, because I get the feeling they wouldn't do it properly to begin with. Because, you know, it's simple and it works. Sometimes it's all you need. <sighs> need to find views of those men. They really are singing. Sounds like they're caged all over the fort. Okay. Have I really not been here before? I think I've been, okay. Looks like I haven't. It 
So that's why it's hard for me to think of like the most quote unquote reskin game I've ever played because most games that I play, I try to identify for its own merits, even if it's heavily inspired by another game. I never like uh, when people are like, oh, this game is just a Devil May Cry clone, or this is just a, a Minecraft clone. If it's trying to do something different, then perhaps, you know, we should just respect that. There are some games that do try to just genuinely be cheap cash-in grabs. Those are the ones that I don't like, where there's just little effort to differentiate themselves. Those are the ones that I don't like. But there's a lot of games that are very similar. But I wouldn't quite call them reskins. That's a challenging question for me to answer. I guess I, I don't quite think that way. Hmm, should I stand off and just get this party started? The cool thing is that combat doesn't alert people. It only alerts it if they actually yell out intruder or they sound the horn. If they just straight up attack you, it doesn't alert anybody. Unless they happen to see you. I hear dogs. Let's try standing off and seeing what happens. Yeah, big guy, come out. That was actually more stealthy than actually sneaking. I appreciate them uh, approaching me in silence. Alright, just to make sure there's not an archer here. Yep, there is an archer there. Honestly, these guys are the biggest threat <laughs> in the entire Mongol army, these archers. I've died more to archers than anybody else. He sent me. I knew he would leave us. Wait, this is a bear. Cages over there. They kind of are. Hmm. Can I challenge these guys? No. I'm gonna get this party started. Really? They didn't alert anybody? 
uh, okay. Interesting. I literally thought he was gonna go and I was gonna try to shoot him. So he wouldn't tell anybody, but apparently he doesn't feel like telling anybody. He just ran off terrified. Man, the AI in this game is so weird. This is lethal mode, by the way. Uh, what? How? Get ready to fight. Lead the way. Glad you're all right. And better now. All right, we got a posse now. Looking at him all moving unison is funny to me. Your best man, huh, Ryuzo? Well, I guess that's the best I can expect from somebody I beat. Who had a sore dueling arm. So many black powder bombs. Not enough flaming arrows. Alright, Yuzo. We're ready for you. Time to open the gate. These guys actually held up pretty well. Do I play Minecraft? I do not. I played Minecraft when it was in alpha like eight years ago. Hope you brought some sake. Probably longer than that. It was a long time ago. And I was like, oh, okay, you just it's just virtual Legos. Minecraft now is so huge, it's so big, it's so expanded. It does not resemble what I used to play. But at the same time, I'm like, eh, it's just not for me. Good food too. Wonder they were singing last night. Just be grateful they're safe. Why in all the hells would the Mongols feed them? Just trying to win them over. Maybe they expected something in return. Thank you, Jin. My men. They're everything. They're gonna backstab you. Or you're just gonna end up dead. I'll wait for my horse to load in. There he is. Okay. You need to meet Yuna, Komatsu.
Now the usual comb the area for stuff I can pick up. I think there's a slight delay of when you heal, you can't parry immediately. Because I think that's the time when I get hit. It's right after I heal and they poke me again. I'm like, how the hell did that happen? I think there's a bit of a, like a, a delay. I'm just going to fast travel right there. No, wait. I, I don't know if I want to go there. I meant to go back to the forge. It's raining. Actually, this is very polite. It warps you straight to the forge. How nice. Welcome back. You're still here. Disappointed? I thought you'd leave as soon as I had my grappling hook. Can't you tell us in my disappointed face? As tempting as that sounds, you saved Taka's life. My debt's not paid until your uncle's free. I'm glad to hear it. Send word to the others. What should I tell them? I'm going to break into Castle Canada and free Perfect. both Shimura. I've told your nephew stalks my men. Tears them apart like a beast. I'm certain you've done worse. <laughs> oh, you pretend we're not different. I love that. We're not so different, but you we or I. The same thing. To we both want the same thing. Us, I, want my I love the whole you're not so different, you and I, line. Brought order to my home. And justice for my people. You are nothing like me. Neither is your nephew. Absurd. I still need to play this game. Been rolling through Neo 2. Yeah. I picked up Neo 2 and it was like on sale. It was like $10 during Black Friday. I'm like, I was holding off on Neo 2 before even though I really liked the first Neo. But I'm like, I can't pass that up. Ten bucks? You kidding me? Of course I gotta pick that up. Game's not even a year old. I think it came out spring of last year. I look forward to visiting it. While I leave you here to starve to death. Maybe it's older than that. I don't know. Without honor. I keep thinking Ghost of Tsushima came out a long time ago. But it was literally just in the summer. Oh, you got it for 10 bucks too? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Damn it, Rizzo. Where are you? Everyone's here. Should we wait for the straw? Everyone hats? is here. No. Do, 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 no do, 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 I completely forgot to go do the two shrines that require the grappling hook. What's up, old lady? Thank you for coming. Lord Shimura will be grateful. My family's killer can wait a few hours longer. As can my hunt for Tomoe. Our island needs its leader restored. With your support, you'll be free by sunrise. Prepare yourselves. We will attack soon. I'm sorry, your uncle's in another castle. <laughs> that would be hilarious. If that doesn't happen, we're assaulting this castle and we think it's the right castle. It's completely wrong. That would be hilarious. Uh, if that was a spoiler, though, then boo. 
but at the same time, that was a funny joke. Lord Sakai. Taka, fine work on the grappling hook. I'm glad it suits you, my lord. You know wanted me to stay behind, but I have to come and wish you well. What's your excuse, Kenji? I don't like drinking alone. I thought I was gonna say, like, I'm just here for the sucker. drinks. If we rescue Lord Shimura, we'll have much to celebrate. Only the best for the Tito. Can't wait till this is over. Can I fast travel anywhere? Nope. Everyone, it's time. Today we free Lord Shimura. Today is but our Independence Day. Straw hat reinforcements. They're not here. And we can't wait any longer. What's the plan, Lord Sakai? I'll use my grappling hook to infiltrate the castle. Once I silence the alarm, the rest of you can safely breach the front gate. The Mongols are likely holding Lord Shimura in the main keep. If they sound the alarm, they may execute him. We can storm the front gates, take them by surprise. No, we do this quiet. We'll carve a path to the main keep, rescue Lord Shimura, then fall back to the main gate and make our escape. Sounds like suicide. Only if we attack head on. We can do this if we sneak in and catch the enemy while they're sleeping. I'm like a thief. Or a ghost. Lord Shimura is counting on us. Let's head out. Now, oh, Sam, if you were just saying it as a joke, it's cool. It's cool. Because if you haven't played this game, then there's no way you can know it was a spoiler. I mean, I guess you, you can always just watch a playthrough. But, um, yeah. It's cool, don't worry. I'm not mad, even if it's true. It has to. <laughs> Absurd, the Neo 2 English is actually really bad. They gave everyone British accents. I mean, what'd you expect with a main character named William? It's about as British a name as you can get. I like when somebody said on, on um, one comment on... Valkyrie Profile 2, it's like, oh yes, Rufus, the classic Nordic name. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> that and Dylan. Like this huge buff Arnold Schwarzenegger warrior comes out. I'm Dylan. Although I do have to remember that Dylan line from Predator. Hey, Dylan. They got you pushing papers. And then they do that classic handshake. In Neo 2, you play custom pros. Like, yeah, I heard it was character customization, but I thought it was a prequel. I thought you played as William when you're younger. I mean, I guess clearly Looks not. Like you can climb up here. You're the one playing it, not me. I'll see you inside. Be careful, Jim. Interesting. As I, I heard it was a prequel, and so I thought you just played as a younger William. But I guess you play as a custom guy. Okay, cool. That was on the game, that was not on me. That was on the game. That was shenanigans. That's why I hate their stupid assigned climbing system. Just when I was about to compliment their auto jump. They let you change your appearance to William if you have a new one saved data. Oh, okay, cool. I assume it's a younger one then. How s how much sooner was it? Was it? Like 20 years ago? 10 years ago? I don't even know how old William is. They could have been older than like 30, 40. He does have that white witcher hair though. Okay, so we do this quiet, apparently. Since Ishikawa was taking the lookouts, well done. Honestly, so should we.
William and Neo is actually partially based on a real guy. Really? You donut say. Oh, nice. Glad it still gave me the window. Be alone. Better take down the guards. Too late? Or did I just catch it? I think I just caught that in time. That was too close. Can't believe he turned around right the moment I, I just left. Dude has instincts. How much of this game is historical? I don't know. It's true the Mongols invaded many islands across Japan. I'll handle it. How much is true? We meet up at the bridge. But how much of this actually is true? Who knows? No. You know, it's it's all exaggerated anyway. I will say that this is a much more historically accurate representation of uh, China than it is of 2020's Mulan. I will say that. I was about to stab you because <laughs> he was wearing blue like the Mongols. This game is so picky. I can't explore. Golly, this game is picky. Railroading me, I swear. There's a siege weapon up ahead. Last time they turned it on Yuna and me. This time, we'll take it. We need to clear the courtyard, quietly or head on. Your move. Oh shit. I have this foot. Okay, there we go. That was reckless. I got too reckless there. Come on. Golly.
Yeah, Disney live action films are just not very good. We need to clear the courtyard. Quiet okay. or head on. Don't move. I was way too sloppy in that approach. Way too sloppy. Uh, huge we switch. I completely take the L on that. And I still got jumped. That was nowhere near me. That was also nowhere near me. I dodged that. I dodged that. That shenanigans. Alright. 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 We need to clear the courtyard. Quietly. Head on. Don't move. I was just lazy too. All right, all right, all right. We gotta be serious. We need to clear the courtyard quietly. Head on. Don't move. Are there guards above us? Is that who keeps spotting me? It must be. There's probably a dude right above us. I'm like, how? Who keeps spotting me? There's gotta be guys up here. Flashbang through the door. Still getting spotted, honestly. Oh, come on, man. At least when I'm at, put the big guy on fire. Really? I had assassinate on that one guy, but some reason it didn't trigger. Try to go to revive an ally, and that's how you fall. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We're getting too lazy. We, we got to be serious. Up. Quietly, or head on. Don't move. I want to be quiet, but I just keep botching it. I'm curious how I was spotted here in this corner. Oh, because this guy just came out.
The sweep on that's ridiculous. That worked. That wasn't clean, but it worked. Give me my super meter. I know, right, Teresa? I was thinking the same thing. It's like, man, it'd be cool if my allies could revive me if I ever fell. You know, but they just don't want to do me that same courtesy. Like, nah, 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 you're so good, Jen. We don't want to do the same thing. Are those, like, rocket-powered arrows? That's so cool. Can you operate the watcher? I'll figure it out. When I free load what are these called? Fusilades? Take them down. With pleasure. Be safe, Jen. And you, Masako. Are we gonna like one at a time team up with one each ally? Like, just kind of go that way instead of I don't know attacking as a group. Must have been the wind. Sweep is some nonsense right there. This would be easier if the straw hat friends were healthy. Rizzo's men were starving. They may have turned against him. War turns desperate men into animals. Hey, desperate women too. Just saying. Tell them away. Engine, you got mud on your face, you big disgrace. This is as far as I got last time. They were like, attack the front gate. And like, nah, we won't. I'm just gonna attack the front gate. That's what I just I said. Don't know. Honestly, there's no samurai the thing that Jin, uh, Jin's doing right now. He's not sneaking up the back way and slitting the throat of everyone. Once you're in, open the gate for me. It's jumping straight out of Uncharted, though. Uncharted 4, to be precise. Yuna's help. Feels more like a stealth game than a samurai setting. Well, that's the way I'm playing it. I'm playing it heavy stealth. This game, especially if you look at how they assign all the techniques. They 100% want you to be like straight up just open combat. They have a heavy emphasis on that. Notice how I haven't put any points in any of my stances because I don't care. 
They're all so marginal. Because everybody dies quickly. Granted, this is only the first area. Maybe they're going to be dudes where that becomes necessary. But I haven't found any need, even on lethal difficulty, to invest in any of the stances. Uh-oh. Two of these guys. Sam, at least you don't have the Drake touch that every platform destroys. Yeah, and usually like it either destroys as soon as he touches it or he willingly destroys it and just kind of has a goofy. I guess that's how it happens. I think Nathan Drake is one of the gaming's biggest douchebags and I cannot sympathize with anybody who calls him like a hero. Uh, here you are. Quiet. More guards ahead. Alright. Let's see if we can stealth kill those yellow guys first. I wonder if one of our ninja tools would be better for anti-armor guys. Because I got a flame sword, which is one of like the ultimate techniques that we get later. Because we later get flame sword. But we don't have flame sword now. I wonder if one of these would be better. I wonder if sticky grenade would be the thing to use here. You're no longer adversely affected by a bomb's blast. That seems like a good thing to invest. I hate it when you throw a grenade like that. Yeah, let's go with sticky grenade. on this guy. Much easier. Oi, we don't get to hurt that. In Ukte, enter Samurai. Oi, we don't get to hurt that. I got this assassinate prompt. Don't even give me that. Come on. I swear that spear poke gets me. You were doing so good there. I need more meter. Oh, nice. It gave me the checkpoint right here. Oh, so let's open the gate for Yuna. Cause 
Because, yeah, when they clustered up like that, that would have been the perfect time to throw a bomb. Here you are. Quiet. More guns ahead. Okay. How did they spot me? Come on, man. <laughs> Who the heck is spotting me? Is there a guy in the roof? Threat indicators just all over the place. I don't know where that helps who's spotting me. Sticky bomb, you know what? I like your style. You're Armored guys, grenades. Now we know. Those are only two grenades, though. I should have upgraded my pouch before coming in, but eh, whatever. Hopefully one of these guys have an extra sticky bomb lying around. Go figure. It was feast or famine. Everybody was dropping sticky grenades before, and now when I actually use them, nobody's dropping them. Ain't that just the kick in the head? Remember Fallout 76 and they played Ain't That a Kick in the Head constantly for all the advertising? Just like they constantly play, um, what was it, Country Roads or whatever? I botched that. I'm aware of it. I shot you. This is clearly the difficulty increase now. I guess the con actually has people that can fight. I'm okay with that. I was getting a little bored with the existing people. So now we know they kick it up a notch. That's fine. I wasn't using all my stealth abilities and all my stance abilities anyway. I wasn't even using 100% of my power. You know, hold this area. 
I'll find Lord Shimura. Good luck, Paji. Ryuzo. You're gonna have to tell me your emotion. Anyone can claim it. You wouldn't. My men are starving, Jin. I did not see this Help coming. Help me save my uncle, and he will reward your men. He will make you samurai. Samurai dead, Jin. And soon you will be too. Are you going to have to tell me your emotions because I can't read your face right now? And he'll send us to die. Just like he did at Komodo Beach. He's not Yuzo, He's your family, Jin. I need to protect mine. We're going to fight this pawn. This music is a little too dramatic for what's going on. I saw the, I saw the indicator. I didn't respond. Hey, go ahead and kill me. That way, I respond with full health. I'll kick your ass. I'm actually getting into this now. I'm actually standing up on my chair. Shit. There was no other way. Now I know he has a two hit unblockable combo. Are you upset I'm not fighting the same way as a samurai? What you gonna do about it? Okay, he did that. There was no other way. I've seen that strike. That cycle was used in Sekiro a lot. Again, each sure used that strike a lot. I'll make it quick. We were friends a lifetime ago. I wish you'd fallen at Komoda. Man, you have so little time to react. I guess this is where it's actually lethal, is the duels.
Everyone knows unblockable attacks that I don't. Damn. I saw the I window for that because it was blue. Hmm. They're gonna abandon it? Good lord. How insulting. This is just the skill wall. I'll make it quick. We were friends a lifetime ago. Shit. I keep forgetting when he does his EI strike that he has to do that. Keeps getting me without ever no point. other way. All right, we're going to do this. <sighs> That's such a shit. How do you get away from that? You can't block it. Oh, I think you're supposed to jump. Hold on. I had to feed my men. So when he does the EI one, you have to dodge twice, and when he does the sweep, you have to jump. Thrust does so much damage. Oh my god. I love how I sometimes the thrust is unblockable and sometimes it's not. Ugh. See that? that... There was That's on no me. other way. See, that one right there. Oh, like, what are you supposed to do against that? Oh, I, wish I was so mad I let myself get, just die. We will beat this. Like that move right there. Ah. Now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep my, my meter. My I wonder if I use Divine Strike if it would work against them. It did nothing. I'll make it quick. We were friends a lifetime ago. Stop before it's too late. You've changed. So have you, Ghost. What the fuck is with that, man? I'm, like, I'm getting up from that. Okay. RNG. He didn't spam his ground sweeper attack. It's not too late. Help me see. I don't even home. feel like I won that. Hey Griffin, how's it going? It belongs to them now. Muzo. He's here! The samurai is here! 
What a dick. Think you'll have to invest in the stances a little. I wonder if the stances would have helped there. Because here's the thing, I switched to sword stance and I tried using the guard breaker and nothing happened. His guard just wouldn't have broken. Because I tried using the guard break and it just, it, what he would be guard broken. I found the little shenanigans. Because if the stance is like, if the sword break stance wasn't going to work, then what's the point? And the holding ones are just asking to get your ass handed to you. Anything that asks you to hold it, you don't have time for that in a duel. Are you kidding me? Like, that's why you didn't invest in any of the stances, because they all were like, hold this. I don't know if you notice this or not, but your enemies do not give you time to charge an attack. Unless they happen to be distracted by someone else. That one is better just to dodge and deflect. I was really kind of upset though because as a sword sweeper attack, I'm hitting dodge and I'm still getting hit. Like you have to completely, I guess, dodge roll out of the way and not just the normal dodge. And sometimes the thrust was parryable and sometimes it wasn't. That level of unpredictability just felt cheap. meter actually is a big help because I don't even feel he was hit by the divine strike because when I did the divine strike it felt like maybe because he was doing an attack at the same time I'll have to look at the footage again but I don't think he was affected by my unblockable move my one unblockable move I don't think he took any damage from it and when I saw that I'm like man are you effing kidding me Hmm. Anyway, let me pause real fast. Let me take a quick break. We're already good midpoint right now in the stream, so I'm gonna be right back. Everyone, get some water.
Okay, back. Griffin getting some Stardew Valley in. Nice. Wow, we're just going through this whole thing. How far is this fort extend? Good lord. Are we going to have a dramatic uh, duel on the rooftop, I wonder? Nice. That was some Shoji assassination unlocked. What did I unlock? That was some um, Total War Shogun 2 action right there. That was always one of my favorite animations when the ninja would just stab somebody through the tent. The enemy general especially. So satisfying. Every now and then I do like when the terror effect kicks in. Just ends fights. These guys were roommates. Thinking, I, oh wow, we're gonna have to duel our uncle now. What's our uncle gonna do? Look at me, uncle. I'm wearing a samurai armor because I'm a totally samurai guy. Uncle, I knew you would come, my boy. Your father would be proud. I live to serve you, my lord. Like, samurais had, like, these samurai, these, these vassal lords, they had ninjas. Yet. Khan is marching north to conquer Toyotama. He left some guards here. Oh, okay, so the Khan's not here. But there'll be no match for two samurai. I brought allies. We can retake the castle. They will sing songs of our victory. I hope he's not going to be judgmental the way I attack. I'm not going to use any of my ninja tools. I'm going to be a good boy for my uncle. From the northern courtyard. Lord Sakai, we'll pull the teams. I'm with you, my lord. Survived. With your nephew's help, 
He insisted we could save you. I thought it impossible, but I'm glad he proved that it was wrong. full of shit. It but hey, the last time here we so. are. I'm glad you're all wow, here. Wow, thanks, Ishikawa. We've lost too many friends and family. Lord Adachi died with honor, Lady Masako. Now we avenge him. Your son's not so much, but your husband, so yes. There's more coming. We will face them together. For the fallen warriors of Tsushima. That's a lot of things. Oh, are you okay there? I guess she just walks it off. She's like, nah, I got this. Up got me. No, it's too soon. I will not fall Damn, today. I fell for it again. Because he does the unblockable, then he does the regular, then he does the unblockable again. Got me. Well, I guess I can't slight the game for, for the mixing up tactics. Now it's night time. Victory, my lord. With your help, Jin. See, this is gonna be the whole thing where he's gonna place Together. so much faith Break in Jin just to have it. Bring you know, Kobe he's gonna build him up just knees. to knock him down. That's where the story's going. We will win this war. Because somebody's gonna be like, "Oh, did you see what Jin a did?" Samurai. He's gonna. He's so fixated on being a samurai, and when he's, like Jin's gonna do something underhanded just to save his life, and then he's gonna turn around and be like, "Jin, you were dishonorable." I just don't have faith in the uncle. I really don't. They're gonna go for that whole liar reveal thing. Cause, uh, cause the con set of dissent within it. have an impressive home. Won't you welcome me inside? Your people are tired, hungry, cold. Open the gate and save them. You promised food for my men. Earn it. You got played. Let them in! No, 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 no. Open the gate! He's conflicted. He's like, I need to emote this on my face somehow. The guy's like, don't you wish you could move your eyebrows? He's like, my god, I wish I could move my eyebrows right now. If I could move my eyebrows, you would see him raise up in such a way that would express shock and horror at the, at the war crimes I'm committing. I'm Open making light of it, but actually this is a good scene. This, is, this is doing a lot in terms of 
adding emotional gravity to it. This is good. This zine is well directed. It's just not well animated. <laughs> That was a good scene. I like scenes like that that bring in um, the smaller things. <clears throat> Your uncle's looking for you. I heard the Khan took his castle. I never should have trusted you so. He fooled all of us. I thought you'd be gone by now. So did I. Let's talk to my uncle. See about getting your reward. Lord Shimura is in the main keep. Watch Shimura be like, I don't give rewards to thieves. You still want to leave like, Tushima? Wow, dick There's move. nothing left for me here. I hey, it's those red leaves again. We haven't seen them in a while. Ahead. You have your uncle, Jin. You don't need me. I need every ally I can trust. Okay, then that, that doesn't apply to me. See you later, bye. Oh, hey, it's shops over here. I'm reappropriating these supplies. I need them for the war effort. I'm honored to assist you. Oh, that's right. I forgot I had the explosive arrow. I completely forgot I had... I'm so dumb. I have the longbow that's armor-piercing. I'm so dumb. I have an armor-piercing weapon already. It's the longbow. I completely forgot about that. Completely forgot. Because I'm like, man, these armored guys. And I'm like, I have an armor-piercing weapon. I'm so dumb. Worthy of a samurai. Wait, is the black powder bomb the grenade? No, that's a sticky bomb. I hope it helps. An excellent choice. Look at his face. It just, they're not even trying. They're not even trying with this man's face. I feel so bad for him. Only the best for you. That unblinking stare. Just for you. Poor Trapper. One day they'll animate his face. Oh well. They're not going to. Yeah, I have a Tengu longbow. I can't believe I had an armor-piercing weapon this entire time, and I went through that the hard way. Good lord. That's just so me. Where it's Good like, well, I can't uncle. do this the easy way, I gotta do it the hard way. And you know what? We still did it. We still did it the hard way. I had armor-piercing weapons, didn't even need it. We're just that good. I request dye in both mainly dark blue, trend with gold. You look well. You look old. I like his we will jacket. Defeat the Khan and the coward Yuzo. Mount their heads on the battlements of my castle. But I can't do this without you. You have me. I heard of your exploits while I was in prison. Your like methods what? were brutal. Impulsive. Not impulsive. Without honor. Don't even give me that. I, I, I knew this conversation was going. For you. Alright, he's standing up for himself. And I will be forever in your debt. But you can't continue down this path. Hmm. All of Tsushima looks to us for guidance. We must save our home together. 
A samurai. What about Yuna? She saved my life. I'm glad that Uncle's not being me. so. He's like, look, All I know you did a lot of things. I don't recommend mainland. you keep doing it. Oh, I like that. I, mean, I'll I'll I didn't give the Uncle enough fate. credit. But only if she helps me retake my castle. Thank you, Uncle. I guess he's a pretty patient lord. We ride within the hour. Yes, Lord Shimura. Javier, I skipped out on so many quests. A side quest? Did I really? Which side quest did I skip out on? I don't see any side quests to do. Check on the others. I want armor like my uncle. I like his colorations too. I can take the, the deep blue that he's wearing there. I like that. That's the kind of blue I want on my armor. I'll take the red trimmings if it comes with the gold like his. Oh, well, Javier, uh, I said this before, but I'll, I'll repeat it again. That uh, I, I did off stream just wandering around exploring, collecting stuff. Because I just want to do the main story while on stream. And any, like, just nonsense wandering around in the wilderness collection, like fox shrines and things like that, I, I did that on my own time. Because that's not that's not terribly interesting to look at, in my opinion. Well, yesterday. I'm also doing it because I'm curious how much of this game is actually main story and how much of it is side stuff. Fallen student. I heard rumors of a Japanese archer helping the Mongols in Nakashima. It has to be Tomoe. I'm so, heading yeah. to a camp for survivors near the coast. I may know more. I will find you there, Sensei. You have my word. Are we still looking for Tomoe with him? I think we are. Jin. Lady Masako, any news on your family's case? Yeah, if you just My watched the first continues. two episodes and I've then this one, the you're right. It would be like, how is he already we'll here? He skips so much. You're right. The time comes to retake Lord but at the same time, can I count on your sword? it kind of shows you if you just do I'll the main path, how quickly and things we will can destroy go. Our enemies together. 25 hour game with the main story. Is that what Time to Beat says? I'm curious Lord if that's true or not. How are the defenses coming? Uh, slow. But they'll pick up once we get the forge going. <laughs> Good work, both of you. Anything to help, Lord Sakai? I like Taka's design. He looks cool. Am I still on a mission? Yeah, I am. Okay. The wind's like, go this way. I get it. I get it. I get it. What did your uncle say? Lord Shimura will grant you passage to the mainland, after you help us retake his castle. Oh, this isn't my fight, Jin. This is Frustrated fight. sigh. Prove your worth to Lord Shimura, and he will reward you. I He's promise. not going to reward me for us saving his life already. I mean, we kind of did him a favor. Typical he can't summer. advance us anything. Squeezing people for everything they're worth. Yuna's not wrong. I feel the same way. I'm like, I'm sorry. Five of us took this castle by ourselves. And he's at least alive and his throat isn't slit. And he's not even giving us something now for it. Oh, hey, what's up, Lord? I wasn't talking shit about you. 
I was just uh, observing your your uh, the way that you handle your government affairs. We ride for Toyotama, Lord Sakai. Bridges out, but the Mongols don't know about the old forest path. This way, Uncle. I'm sorry I didn't free you sooner. You have nothing to apologize for, Jin. I've seen what Mongols do to our people. I can't imagine what you went through. <laughs> it takes more than a bloated Mongol warlord to break my spirit. He learned our language, kept you alive. What is he after? He wanted me to aid his conquest of our mainland. He, they already took over our mainland. Power, wives. He thought you'd turn against your own people? For that insult... How many wives? Not, not that I knew you were taking it, but out of curiosity, how many wives? Tell me about this woman who saved your life. Yuna is brave, loyal, and good in the fight. Ishikawa said she's a thief. I like she her. She can be a little rough, but she has a good heart. Take care where you place your faith. You were friends with Yuzo, too. Oh my god, this guy. The battles ahead will be difficult. Cheap shots. I need to know I can rely on my people. You have my full support. And Yuna's. Long ago, chaos ruled this island. It was the samurai who brought order and unified all of Tsushima. We must show our people that honorable samurai still fight for this land. It is time you return home and reclaim the armor of Clan Sakai. It has sat empty since my father died. Ooh, new armor. The past cannot hurt you, Jin. I like my current set, though. I really wonder if the bonuses are going to be that much better. You smell that. Burning wood. Bodies. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Monsters. They raided farms to the south. Never like this. This is the Khan's revenge for my escape. Do you still feel sorry for them? Farm left standing. And you say Without we're the too brutal. Like the winter, I'll see it done. What have they done? Are we gonna mount a combat Mongo battle? patrol ahead! Run them down! That was so weird. What is? I didn't see what this. Shit. I was too busy looking at the screen, and the screen's like, "Yo, you need to do this." See me assassinate. Mongols. I saw them in Castle Kaneda. They're the Khan's wolves sent north to ravage our people. Griffin, I saw an article online where a shrine on actual Tsushima Island was damaged, so they made a GoFundMe for repairs, and a bunch of Tsushima players helped donate to it. it went well past the request. You know what? Even though it's a kind of superficial reason for them doing so, I am glad that they at least took an interest in this game generating some positive press for the island of Tsushima. That's a good silver lining. That's a good story. Thanks for bringing that up. Join me. What? No return to mission area warning? Yep. Okay. I expected that. Hey, but it looks like the Mongols from here on out are going to be the tough ones we just fought. That's fine. They'll be wonderful stepping stones to grow my power. We will relight the flame. Show the Khan we're coming for him. And 
give our people hope. We must find our lighthouses and rekindle every last one. Oh, come on, guys. My bad. My bad, Lord. Man, archers are rapid firing now. Oof, I should have healed. These archers are nuts. Golly. Man, Second Island isn't playing around. It's like, get good, scrub. But I feel it's kind of how it always is. Like, the first island seemed rough, but then you start exploring and upgrading yourself, then everything's easy. And the second island's like, yo, welcome to Second Island. And I bet once we explore, they're gonna be chumps. They're like, wow, that man suddenly died. Yeah, I know, right? Where did Kuna come from? Nice. Why is the game stopping to tell me this? I know this. This is stupid. This is what distracted me last time. Like, I already know this. Okay, we need to, we need to play smart now. I cannot hold them off! Lord Shimura just led, like, you know, a thousand samurai to their death on a stupid suicide charge, and now he's leading me into a stupid suicide charge for his castle. I don't know why I love this guy. And that's sarcasm. I, uh, this lord is so dumb. I just finished rescuing this guy, and now he's like, we're gonna charge a thousand dudes by ourselves, by ourselves. Wow. You know, I actually had better odds just <laughs> just leaving you in jail. Politicians, am I right? Oh, politically charged joke. Now I'm demonetized. Jokes on you. This stream was never monetized to begin with. I make no money on this. The Mongols get harder as the game progresses. Good. I would hate if they got too stale. 
I wonder how they evolve. Because they're clearly evolving their fighting tactics to have more mix-ups, which is nice. And they're using, like, a lot more unblockable attacks, which is not nice, but it keeps me on my toes. That's just a learning curve, because I bet the third island's going to do the same thing. I also love how there's no sense of urgency. Until I go back to Lord Shimmer in the beginning, I don't have to do anything. The game will just patiently wait for me to get there. Here's what we will do, though. Next time, we're gonna use our longbow. You know. We can use that against them. Ready your bow. Kill them all. It is tough aiming that bow. It does not move as quick as the short bow. And I get that. Sound. Take some getting used to to fire that bow. You're ready to fight for our cause? I need to get off this island. So does Taka. We're not finished yet. To the lighthouse. We'll rekindle its flame. Show the Mongols our victory at Castle Kaneda was only the beginning. And tell the Khan we're coming for him. Where our Lord is so. <sighs> I'm glad you came, Yuna. You were an effective distraction. A pleasure to serve, my Lord. We need more warriors like you following us into battle. We may have trouble finding them. You know, because they're all dead. Unless you broaden your horizons. <laughs> we have business in the lighthouse. Speak your mind, then leave us to it. So rude. Yarikawa has plenty of warriors. If their walls haven't fallen. I put down the Yarikawa rebellion. Its people have no love for me. I mean, I don't have any love I for know. you either, but here I am. I grew up there. Is that where you learn to steal? Oh my you know, god, that's great guy. admiration for you, Lord Shimra. She can convince her people to fight under your banner. Very well. Help Lord Sakai raise this army. You will be on the first transport to the mainland. With my brother. Wait for me in old Yarikawa. Thank you, Jin. Watch him not honor that promise. the fire so that Gondor may come. I hope the Khan sees this. He will. We will take back your castle. Destroy the Mongols as honorable samurai. Sure. Return home and claim your father's armor. Recruit the peasants of Yarikawa. I will petition the Shogun for reinforcements. We got a Shogun here? To the mainland. Oh, the I Shogun. Savory friends of my own. A pirate named Goro 
and Omugi Cove owes me a debt. Of course his name is Goro. If he's alive, I'll find him. Bring him to me at our old hunting camp. We will meet again soon. Until then, travel safely. I cannot lose you again. Okay, so that wasn't entirely as I thought it was going to go down. Yeah. We freed a Mongol prisoner here. A warrior monk. He wants to speak with you. A warrior monk? I'll find him. He has a name, so he's important. Your companions. Where do you serve? See the temple. Our warrior monks rode south to fight the Mongols after we heard about Komoda. But our journey ended here. I'm sorry. What happened? I mean, obviously they, they all died. Pushed and taken captive. Oh, taken captive. Okay. Shoved into a covered pit. No food. So dark, I couldn't see my hands in front of my face. So wait, you're telling me you were fatter? I, I mean, bigger boned. I heard him struggling and shouting. And then shouts turned to screams. We could smell burning. But we refused to submit. There were only three of us left when they took my brother, Enjo. Enjo? Guardian? I'm sorry, he's gone. He was a great warrior. An even better brother. What's your name? Norio, my lord. It's a me, Norio, my lord. This is where they held us. It took my brother, Luigi. Six men. I promised it holds double that. Walk with me, Norio. I want to show you something. You rode from Toyotama. What was it like? Kushi Temple was spared, as were the healers of Akashima. I hear the pirate's nest of Umugi Cove still stands. Nori, 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 ocho, radio. I wonder if he can give me like a spear. Ooh, nice. He has, um, what do you call those? A type of pole arm that he has? A grease arm or something? I'm probably butchering the name of that. Thousands of invaders. Now that Lord Shimura is free, he can lead us to victory. Ah, uh, sure. I hope you join our fight. The monks of Cedar Temple can help. They're all within a day's ride. Support them, and we'll sweep the Mongols back into the ocean. We will avenge your brother, Norio. All the monks who died here. I don't seek revenge. But I will fight for peace. Smoke bombs restore 25% of my health. Hmm. Nice. I'll ride to Akashima Village to support our But I'm not going to do that. If we're going to fight back, we need their skills. Because if you're going to use a smoke bomb, to that means that you're going my to be surrounded, and I don't like being in a situation where I'm surrounded to begin with. Akashima. Hmm. 
Okay. So it's a little bit taller, but a little bit thinner than the area we were just in. Looks like we gotta help all of our dudes again. Which I'll do off camera. Okay, real fast though. Let me hit up these shrines and get some upgrades. I like these shrines because they at least give you something to do. Oh, I have to jump down there, don't I? Yeah. Because most of the stuff you find in this game, there's stuff you find and there's stuff you do. And this is one of the few things you can actually do in this game. Just like the bamboo cutting. Because everything else is just walk around and collect it. Even if it's like a direct upgrade. You don't do very much. At least sometimes he can jump like 10 feet and sometimes he jumps like 30 feet. Just the instant quashink of the grappling hook is funny to me. Quashink! It's a very heavy sound. Make sure th these shrines don't take very long, but I'm gonna make sure to deduct their total time from the total time of the game itself. It's just that usually these are worth it. I think it's hilarious. They're like, we need to stop this. Keith dropping by to say hi. What is is this? Some sort of Uncharted Fort Japan DLC? Yeah, I have to say so. All right, what does this one do? Fortunately, it has a little bit more story than uh, any of the, the Uncharted games. Staggered enemies have a thirty percent chance of being knocked down. That's actually not bad. Oh wait, so the Mongols took over some of the things. Okay. That seems tedious to re-take over camps, but all right. I guess that's what we're doing. That'll be later. I'm not gonna do that right now. Where's my armor? He said to return back to the castle, get my family armor. Where is that though?
Oh, so it, that is where we're going. So it's the next final area. Okay. Where was that second shrine? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the flag man. There it is. Yeah, I was saying that earlier. That grapple hook is literally straight out of Uncharted 4. You can tell they probably talked to somebody in Uncharted over at Naughty Dog. And they're like, yo, how'd you do your grapple hook? They're like, no problem, man. We got you. I guess if you wanted three arrows, you would go there. Is that linen? I'm not going. I'm not going down for linen. Actually, we should go down for linen. Oh wait, do I have to go back up? Yeah, it's not worth it though. Well, actually, I think it's the only way down. Okay. Yeah. One of these days, there's going to be a bear in one of those caves. be a funny surprise. It just shoots us so quickly, you know? It's so weird. Honestly, one of these charms just needs to really, really impress me, because I've been on the same two charms, and like I don't see a reason to change. The two charms I have is... Um, Amaterasu, where every time I kill a dude, I regain health. And the other one is improve, perfect parry, perfect dodge windows. And since I love doing parries, super handy. Well, that looks like an archery based one. Let's see. Izanagi. Oh, cool. 40% chance to get free ammo for a headshot. That's not bad. But not better than what I have.
Okay, now we continue with the story. I'll do all the side quest stuff later. That looks like an upgrade, though. Was it going to be a bamboo strike? I love it when I'm on my way to an upgrade anyway, and the bird's just like, look, I'm helping. I'm like, I, I already knew it was here. Oh, wait, is it actually past the wall? bamboo strike. Have a good night. Kind of sure did nothing wrong. Oh, nice. An easy one. Watch them all be square. That'd be so cool. Oops, I messed that up. Is this a time thing? Do I have to do this right now? I don't think so. They don't seem urgent. It just seems inconvenient. However, if I let more of these stack up, the fact that they give me so much in terms of crafting resources almost seems like it's better not to do them immediately. Well, I guess we can't fast travel to any of those spots because we don't know where they are, so we're just going to have to ride out. I think I'm just going to do what I did last time on the first island, which is I literally started from where we started and I just did a lap around the island. I'll probably just do the same thing. Okay. First things first. Let's get over here. Actually, we just need a bear left. We don't even need anything that dramatic. Let's go, Nobu! Really, horse? You didn't want to jump over that fence? We're just gonna keep the course, the uh, the coast to our left, and we'll be fine. This is the game, riding in silence. I wonder if the bears get tougher, like the bears shoot fireballs.
we have to fight these guys. Who will face me first? Damn eagles. Get out of here, people. Nobody likes your style. Fox, do your thing. Like, you're the only thing that stood out in the middle of all this stuff, so it's kind of obvious. I always find it so weird with the with the fox shrines. Like the, the the markers are for like where the fox is and not the shrine itself. I just I'm not complaining about it. It's just weird to me that you can't just find the shrine itself per se. You have to find the fox and then it leads to the shrine. There has been one time though I did find a shrine without finding the fox first and it did let me claim it and the fox just kind of showed up afterwards. But at the same time, it's just, I don't know. The collectible itself is the shrine. It's weird to me that you would you would add an extra step to that. Or hey, instead of letting them find the shrine, if they do, great. But if they don't, we're going to actually have the indicator be towards the guide to the shrine. Alright, but the yellow bird coming out of nowhere is fine. Though sometimes they don't always guide you to the collectibles. They guide you to like points of interest, like this will be a location you can go to later. for the records. Are we going the right way? More or less. This is really what occupies most of quote unquote open world games. Riding around, doing nothing, getting from waypoint to waypoint. I feel the people that have done this best is probably like Black Flag. Because they had that idea, design mentality of hey, every 30 seconds something interesting happens. But almost every single open world game is just okay with having just long stretches of nothing. I could barely see that guy because the dude behind me. I swear, Ku and I are just worth their weight in gold. Just no fuss, no must, they just work.
<laughs> the warp from the left side to the or from the right side to the left side. That was funny to me. Sakai. You can go, boy. Oh, I didn't expect to find a duel. I guess that's a new thing we do. So are all the straw hats gonna do this now? Oh come on. Straw hats are cowardly traitors. You all deserve death. And samurai are spoiled hypocrites who steal glory from real warriors like me. I'll prove it. Come on then. So the thing that's annoying about these, it's cool the first time. You can't skip this scene. And it's the same scene every time. He does this, he looks, Sakai looks back, the guy puts his hand down on Sakai is gonna flick his forward with his thumb, and then we start. You lived your life in a castle. He made you soft. The more you out of breath. Why is the game doing this? Fine, storm stance, good lord. I killed better fighters than you! Yeah, Ryuzo was way harder than that. Ryuzo was a skill, like, uh, he was a skill part. Farewell, he was the part where it's like, yo, I'm a skill wall. This guy was a chump. So I guess now we have to kill all the straw hats. All the Mugiwaras. Hey, at least it's a new activity to do, and it's something that's engaging, you don't just pick it up. Yes, it's a box drive. I love it when bears randomly attack dudes. This guy's got moves. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. This guy got moves. They also have a lot of health. The charm of Inari's might is worth it. Oh, there's still something else to find. Oh, it's that shrine way over there. I don't find these shrines particularly interesting to me because I don't. I actually like keeping my swords the way they are. Landscapes in this are crazy varied, are they? Because so far it always seen our grasslands um, and forest, and I'm still in grasslands. I guess you could say marsh. I mean, am I gonna be in the snow later? Palette wise. So, the reason why the colors stand out is because they use muted fall colors or directly against uh, like bright, either warm colors such as red or yellow, or warm colors like um, green. Because you have a stark contrast, it makes it, it accentuates it without actually changing anything. Is he just gonna chill out there? Okay. A grim reminder. An unknown world teems with life. Yeah, the methodology used for a lot of this is simply use sharply contrasting colors. And that's fine. Oh, there's Mongols here. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to give him a wide berth. I'll see you guys later. Ignore.
Because, man, going back and having to re-free all of those other farmsteads, I look at that and I'm like, oh, that's such busy work. It's just busy work. All you did is reload the same area with a harder version of the same enemies. That is busy work 101. But I'll do it, since I do need those crafting materials. But yeah, in terms of the art style, the the art style is varied in this. It's very between focused and unfocused. Because there are many things that have a high attention to detail and many things that do not have a high Looking attention for to me? detail. Oh shit, we're in the water. Even though you're wearing those pants to hide... That's the reason why they wear those big baggy pants, is to hide their foot movement, because that's exactly how you can tell where people are. I can still track your movement. Take that. What was he doing out here by himself? Was he not guarding something? He was literally just chilling out? Hmm. Okay, let's go hang with some pirates. Them. I will just a bit. You're just a side quest. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He's guarding a swamp. Get out of our swamp. Hey. Look, we found a collectible all on our own. Didn't even need a little bird. See, this I find more rewarding when you actually come across it on your own. Now, why it's here in the middle of nowhere, I, I think it's stupid. That's a very video game thing to do. They just kind of put it with not really much rhyme or reason. But I appreciate finding it on my own all the same. But yeah, in terms of open world quality... You have to you have to put in the fact that there have been a How lot of open worlds over the past long? fifteen years. A How lot. The Mongols get tired Especially in the excuses. last ten years, when they really started becoming corner mainstream. Just so many so many open worlds. And when you think about it in the big scheme of things, man, I just I this doesn't strike me as exceptional. There are people that are lauding us as one of like the best open worlds they've ever been in. Well, I think that's more telling of you. This is an okay open world, but it's it's not exceptional. This is big for the sake of being big. Because when you have this much landmass and you're just traveling with nothing to do. And the only thing you could do was just say, wow, that, that, that tree or that flower over there sure is bright against the green or the brown. Peaceful life. Yes, sirree. Is that really a good quality open world? Huh? 
I forgot Jin has bad knees. Now, does that say this is bad? No, of course oh, not. Ronin. State your business. I'm not a Ronin. My name is Jin Sakai. A samurai? Lady Sanjo will want to see you. She's in charge of a Mugi Cove. Please, come with me. This way, my lord. It's important you speak to the lady. I always like speaking to the ladies. As long as they're actually ladies, not you know, total bitches. Welcome to Umugi Ko. She a pirate? The Mongols haven't found this place. Thankfully, no. There hasn't been bloodshed here for many years. Anyone who draws a weapon answers to my men. Your safety is assured. So long as you abide by that same rule. Now, please, tell me how I may help you. I'm looking for a smuggler named Goro. <laughs> Interesting. He's downstairs, having his third bottle of sake. Enjoy your visit with him. Thank you. Come see me again sometime. I think we can help each other. What a nice lady. I gotta take these supplies from you real fast. Someone. That's a good answer. <laughs> Lord Sakai. Aye, the samurai are all dead. I'm very much alive, but my patience is dying. Lord Shimura asks that you repay your debt to him. He's alive? What does he want? To deliver a message to the mainland. Uh, I charged a lot for that trip, even before the Mongol blockade. Something's weird with his audio. This will repay it. Then I have no choice. I'm gonna run away. After Komoda Beach, I thought my debt to Lord Shimura was erased. That's why I was drinking. To celebrate your escape? To mourn the samurai. Those warriors died protecting men like me. Hmm? If that's how you feel. Find your courage. Help us avenge them. We need a lot more samurai to do that. We'll receive them. He's very talented to drink while Shimura's talking. Shimura's message. Huh. This is my home. Come in. Nice place. Mm -hmm. Getting past that Mongol blockade won't be easy. Do you have Lord Shimura's message? He has it. At his camp on the Akashima coast. Ah, I can work with that. One of my boats is hidden near Fort Mitodake. This map shows where I'll wait on the forest road. Open up, Goro! We're not leaving until you pay us what you owe! Shit! I'll deal with them. Get moving. And I'll leave you to it. See you in Akashima, Lord Sakai. No use hiding, Koro. We know you're in there. What are you afraid of? We're not going High quality away. animation. They're really knocking on that door. Come out and face us. We're not leaving until you pay us. There's no use hiding, Koro. Where's that lighting come from? We know you're in there. I didn't call for Ronin. Uh, my lord, what's your business with Goro? Private. We'll... we'll be back. Well, she's not a side quest. My 
My brother wanted to be a samurai lord, Sakai. He built a bamboo training stand, spent a whole winter practicing on it. Bamboo cutting. An excellent way to become a better swordsman. Perhaps I can join your brother in practice. Sadly, he died of fever a few years ago. But every time I see but a stand beneath honor. its flag, I think of him. And now, so will I. Thank you. Take care. Okay. Ooh, we have a mythic thing. What is that for? The Kensei armor. Six blades of Kojiro. Nice. I wonder if we can at least get this mission done before the end of the night. But yeah, I'm still waiting for any major story to happen. This is a very story-like game. Nobody was here. No sign of any other. Gotta say. Let me tell you a story of demons and ghosts. I was trying to fix my wagon with pieces from a bamboo stand when I was told a samurai had built it. Is that true, my lord? We use the bamboo to hone our skill with the sword. It takes focused blade to cut through all of the bamboo in one stroke. Please forgive my ignorance. I put everything back where it belonged. Even the flag beside it. I appreciate that. But it would have been all right to repair your wagon. I'll make sure the stand sees use. Oh, gift shrine. Thank you. I'm probably not going to use any of those masks. Alright, what are you showing me, yellow bird? Yeah, like, you, we've been here before. There will probably be someone here, but there's nothing here now. Wants me to be there. Nice. Okay. the big boy first. Whoa, what? <laughs> I was wondering if we were going to go through the entire stream without seeing some weird physics jump in this game. I love that this game doesn't disappoint. There, Alright, there's your highlight. Uh, this is game of the year. I swear this game has physics that make, it, make you think it was designed by Bungie. Oh, 
Oh, is that a shrine? Face me in an area where I can see your feet. I messed up. I messed up. He actually juked me. First one I failed. Damn, they got me. Failed a duel. Oh well, one out of fifty ain't bad. You better not be aiming me back to... What is this? Oh, it's a hat. I will never wear this hat. I found Goro in Umugi Cove. <laughs> Was he drunk? Not anymore. He will fulfill his debt to you and sail for the mainland. He may be unsavory, but few know the sea like Goro. Will these men deliver your message? Precisely. Kotaro and Jiro are loyal and courageous. I will uh... petition the Shogun for reinforcements. Goro is ready. He will meet us nearby, then lead us to his boat. We will ride when the time is right. Take this moment to prepare for battle. Yes, Uncle. It is time. To your horses, men. We are oh, ready he's got the big helmet out. And keep watch for our smuggler. I can always tell when you want to ask me something. Out with it. I'm curious how you met Goro. I caught him selling Chinese silk forbidden by Shogun decree. I burned his stock and let him go. He could have been flogged, but you saw a better path. A skilled sailor can be a valuable asset. The Mongols have many ships. Can Goro evade them all? He has no choice. What will we do if they catch us, my lord? Do not fear oh, I mean, we're not going to do anything, we'll just be dead. Live with courage, and never forget the people you fight to protect. Lord Shimura! Goro, where is your boat? This way. I'm happy you're alive, my lord. I have a torch so people can more easily see us at night. I'll do Whoa. my best. But I fear you see that weird lantern effect? <laughs> like his torch was like jumping towards us? That was so weird. Perhaps we can direct their attention elsewhere. This one. We walk from here. It's like Goro cast fireball there for a second. My father took that stronghold from Clan Yarikawa. Now the Mongols have it. Imagine their surprise when two samurai take it back from them. So optimistic. Making up noise inside the fort. Mm. The Mongol ship crews will look to it instead of the water. Goro. We will draw the enemy's attention to the fort. Sail when you hear the fighting. My lord, you will be killed. Your Probably. only concern is delivering my message. 
Horses might give us away. We will go on foot, Lord Sakai. Mongol armies are formidable, but our attack will catch them off guard. That's why that holds true in the fort. They outnumber us, but they cannot attack all at once. Uh, they How could. long can we keep the element of surprise? Only until we see the enemy. Then we strike. Mongols ahead. We could avoid them. Turn your back on a foe, and you will die with a sword stuck in it. Kill the strongest first, you mean go after the archers? Yes. Archers are nuts. Use the longbow. Everybody's wearing armor right now. I am proud to fight beside you, Jeep. See how the enemy fear you. You are a true warrior. Thank you, Uncle. Remain alert. Watch us take cover. Oh my god, really? Jesus Christ, talk about getting shish kebobbed. <laughs> It takes forever to fire. There's no way I would have been able to evade that.
Give me that meter. Alright. Alright. Looking a little better now. Man, seriously? Shimura's freaking nuts. I can't believe we're doing all this on our own. to kill that guy. <laughs> Crazy how the Mongols like are okay with just literally burning everything in their entire base just to kill two dudes. Let you take care of those. More Mongols flow through them. Stop only to kill. What the mess was that? Kind of a cool setup though, because it's not just another clear camp of everything. I like this. It's variety. Before we go into the monotony, which is go back to the, the last island and free all the camps again. waiting for me. Shut 
Them time. Whew. Not enough. The Mongols have seen them, and their attack ships are faster. Oh, As well, the title made me sad. Wish we got more no. Sengoku Boss for games. Than West. Man, me too. Sengoku Boss is cool. Watch if any of you are not familiar with Sengoku Boss, it's basically Watch Capcom's right. take Saving on Dynasty Warriors. And it's no just as crazy is. as you would imagine. I'll learn. Capcom's new terms of service, though, kind of has me worried a little ships. bit. Because one of the things that they're not a fan of, which is something I just recently got seven copyright claims for, was if you show cutscenes or anything of like quote unquote sensitive story material, then they have they're gonna like, you know, claim you. I'm like, that's not cool. Cause what about for people like me who would recap where I tell the story? The Mongol steps are in flames! Get the turret section. Slow down, Koro. But you know what? I'm okay with that. This is actually the kind of gameplay where I was looking for. I'm like, man, I'm getting tired of just clearing the camps. Is burning. He won't make it. Protect you. We cannot fail. More ships on the way. Damn it. Hold on, Goro. Sorry, Goro. I was too busy on the big target set. I didn't see the small one. The Mongols sent more. Some sailor, though. Don't let their boats reach like, oh, yeah, he's the best sailor to see. It's working. The Mongol ships are in flames. Don't let up. Goro must outrun them. Jesus, Archer destroyed him. Man, okay. It's like, yeah, Goro's totally good. Are you sure he can't handle these tiny? Don't let their boats reach Goro. Boats. It's working. The Mongol ships are in flames. Don't let up. Goro must not run them. missing a side boat. I keep thinking I took care of the ocean. Ah, oh, okay. Gotta stay focused on Goro. The Mongols sent boarding parties. Don't let their boats reach Goro. It's working. The Mongol ships are in flames. Don't let up. Goro must outrun them.
Those ships on the way. Hold on, Goro. Couldn't disappoint you. And you never have. Except when you kill that one dude in the back. I was very disappointed. You have become. Jin, my message to the Shogun included an announcement. I wish to formally adopt you as my son. Uncle. In my heart, you have always been the heir to my legacy. When this war ends. We will make it official. He's just putting up death flags left, right, and center. One day, our people will look to you as their leader. You will become their honorable Jito, backed by all the power of the Shogun. I hope I can serve them as well as you have. I know you will. Because now you know he's gonna die. We must finish Come our on. preparations while we wait for the shogun. Or there's gonna be a rift between them. What are your orders? Reclaim your father's armor and recruit the people of Yarikawa. We'll see how reliable your friend really is. I'll meet Yuna and recover my armor from Omi Village. When you're ready, meet me at our staging camp in Kubala. Then we will retake my castle from Kotun Khan and save our home. As father and son, the shogun himself will celebrate will our victory. this island as father and we son. Will again soon. I am your father. Until then, travel safely. <laughs> okay, that mission was actually kind of cool. The variety was nice. More of that. Average viewer, I just not know to see things like, yeah, what? These guys don't march in single file, though, you know? Okay. We got a lot of progress done. <sighs> this game is fun. I appreciate the skill wall jump. I was really concerned. I was like, man, is this game going to be super easy? Nah. They knew how to, to pick it up, but, you know, we're adjusting. We're getting it. Besides, I'm sure they're just going to kick things up another notch when we get to the final island. I remember when playing Total War Shogun and Shogun 2, which was the better game, even though it's terrible netcode. Uh, it was like, upgrade your tech tree, unlock gunners, and you basically win the game. Because Gunners just destroyed everyone. It would not surprise me if these Mongols brought out firearms later. Because they're already throwing out the fire arrows. They're throwing out the upgrades we get. I wonder if Jin will get a gun. And will use a gun. He just starts dual wielding pistols like John Wick at the very end. It's nuts. But yeah. We'll go ahead and pause here for today. We made a lot of progress. We have a lot of island to cover, but I'll take care of that stuff and liberate all these filler camps later. But, yeah, the second island looks a little bit thinner than the first one, but we'll see. And that was a little wider. But it looks like there's, you know, a little bit less stuff to do, so it's not going to be hopefully as tedious. But yeah, we will pick this up next time. I'm not going to have a stream tomorrow. We only streamed three times a week because RPGs are significantly longer than games like this. But we'll still stream twice a week. So I will see you guys on Sunday. Sunday, same streaming time, same streaming station. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Money Black Mage, and I will see you on the next Battlefield.